Kelly Jonathan, IFAW's Wildlife Rescue Program Officer, and we are at the Wild Care Foundation near Moore, Oklahoma. Wild Care is a facility for injured and orphaned wildlife. So these are red shouldered hawks. Some of them came in after the storms. And this little guy right in front here had a broken wing from the public or other groups will bring the animals here to be treated, rehabilitated, and then released back to the wild. May 20th, as most of the world knows, a EF5 tornado hits Moore, Oklahoma, causing widespread destruction. Humans and their pets were affected as well as wildlife. I'm going to clean her up a little bit so her fur doesn't get too matted. After that storm and subsequent storms after it, IFO was asked to come in and help with this rescue center as they are one of the only ones in this area taking in wildlife on a regular basis as well as in response to the storms. So this little fawn, she was swept away by the flood water, so she was unable to be reunited with her mother. Well, she was found and brought in by three police officers. She's getting fed on the bottle four times a day. We're a little concerned she's got something going on with her leg here. Her hip kind of tucks in here and she's a little wobbly in this leg. You can notice as she walks, kind of bows in. That could have happened from being swept away in the flood waters. But she does get around pretty well. As she gains some weight and builds the muscle, that'll help support this leg. We're hoping she'll be able to adapt and she can get strong enough to get around just fine as an adult. Feeling pretty good about it. I don't think there's going to be any reason why she can't be released. So it is springtime, which in rehab terms means it is baby season. Wild Care Foundation already had about 600 animals in their care, with many of those being orphans. Since the tornado, there has been an additional 600 animals have come in, and the vast majority of those are orphans. So when the tornadoes came through, they knocked nests out of trees, things fell on top of animals trapping them. We've seen injuries such as broken bones, broken wings. Thankfully, most of these injuries can be treated and these animals will be released back into the wild. So we've got this little bobcat that was orphaned after the tornado. He stays in the nursery at night to keep him out of the elements of the weather and keep him safe. During the days when it's nice out, we move him out where there's adult bobcats. This way she can watch them out there playing, watch them eating their food, start learning what she needs to do to be a wild bobcat. She doesn't have a litter mate. 
put her in here with this teddy bear. So once she gets a little bit older, she'll be released out of this little enclosure here, and then she can graduate to actually go in with other bobcats. It's important for his psychological development to make sure that he will be more comfortable with his own kind than with humans, um, and it will help him become a great candidate for release. Wildlife is affected just as much as the humans and companion animals during disasters, but are often overlooked. And so this has been a wonderful opportunity to come out and support a great organization that is protecting and taking care of these animals. We really appreciate all the donations and support we have received thus far to help us help animals. If you haven't already, please visit www.ifaw.org to learn more about the work we do all over the world and support our efforts to help animals in disasters. Uh, uh, if you'd uh, like to support the work uh, that IFA does, uh, <laughs> you can visit uh, www.he's <laughs>